There are few things in life more annoying than a blunt knife. The frustration and the resulting extra force you have to apply makes a blunt knife more dangerous than a sharp knife. Your knife is blunt if it doesn't cut slices anymore. Is it squishing tomatoes and tearing the meat instead of cutting it? If you can see the reflection on the knife edge when you shine a light on it, it's time to sharpen your knife. Luckily, you can easily sharpen your knives at home. There is more than one way to sharpen your knife. Some are quick and affordable, and some are expensive but give the best results. I'll show the different kinds of sharpening methods so you can decide which method is best for you. Keep in mind that different types of knives have different sharpening angles. On average, a fixed blade or pocket knife has an angle of about 25 to 20 degrees, European kitchen knives have a sharpening angle of about 20 degrees, and the Japanese kitchen knives have a sharpening angle of about 15 degrees. One of the most recognizable ways of sharpening a knife is the good old sharpening stone. One of the cheaper options. All the different shapes, the grid sizes and sharpening materials mean you have a lot of freedom in choosing what works for you. It takes a bit of time, but the sharpening result is amazing once you've got the technique down. They are often used with a bit of water. You push the knife across the sharpening stone, you switch sides, proceed to a higher grid if you want. And it's an amazing feeling if you learn to use a sharpening stone to get your knife razor sharp. Want to know how to use a sharpening stone? We have a much more in-depth video available on our channel. A sharpening rod is often made from the same material as a sharpening stone. The way of sharpening is different though. It's mostly used for quick touch-ups right before or after you've used your knife. You slide the knife across the rod from heel to tip. Water is not needed so it's much less of a hassle. It's an easy and quick way to keep your knife sharp for a long time. Although, if your knife is really blunt, this is not the best way of making it sharp again. It only has a small contact surface, so it doesn't take away material as fast as a sharpening stone. But if your knife is still sharp or even new, this is a great way to keep it sharp. This is by far the easiest way of sharpening your knife. These small and sometimes even electric devices use small ceramic or diamond coated wheels to sharpen your knife. The sharpening angle is already set, so all you need to do is pull the knife through the slots to sharpen the knife. Most pull tool sharpeners have multiple slots. Start in the slot with a coarse grid size and work your way up to the slot with the finest grid size. These sharpeners are built in such a way that you won't get the sharpening result comparable to a fine grid sharpening stone, but it's quick, clean, easy, and it does the job. And sometimes that's good enough. If you're looking for ultimate sharpness and sharpening results that are easily repeatable, then a sharpening system is what you're looking for. You decide the sharpening angle and the system holds the knife or the sharpening stone in that exact angle, sometimes even up to half a degree. A sharpening system is the easiest way to reach the pinnacle of sharpness, although it's far from the cheapest option. Stropping your knife is a great way to give your already sharp knife just that extra bit of sharpness. It's also great to keep your sharp knife sharp for a longer period of time. All you need is a knife and a strop. In this case, a leather strop with a very fine sharpening compound on it. Slide the knife over the strop, away from the edge, alternate between sides, and before you know it, your knife is sharper than ever. Of course, it's best to keep your knife from getting blunt at all. Making a dull knife sharp again takes more time than keeping your knife sharp. That's why we recommend regular knife maintenance. Sharpen it regularly to make sure it will not become blunt at all. Storage is also important to make sure your knife stays sharp. Always store the knife away safely in a knife block or on a magnetic knife holder. If you store your knives in a drawer, use an indoor knife organizer or a knife protector to keep the edge away from touching the other knives or other hard items in your drawer. To learn more about sharpening on a sharpening stone or about stropping, check out the videos right here and enjoy your soon to be sharp knives.